How's it and Jack Tackers and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today I am going to be giving my thoughts on the new episodes of The Walking Dead Season 11 because this show is actually almost over and this is kind of my last chance to talk about one of my favorite shows of all time so I thought I would do some reviews for these final episodes. Anyways, AMC Plus released episodes 17 and 18 on the same day so yeah I guess I'll just talk about episode 17 first which was titled Lockdown. And overall, I thought this was a decent episode. Uh, it definitely wasn't perfect, but it was a solid premiere to this final stretch, I feel like. You know, I firstly want to mention the very beginning with Judith talking as old clips of the show kind of overlay her voice. It was very nostalgic and almost nostalgia baity, And it worked more in this episode than it did in episode 18, it seems like this will probably happen at the start of every episode, so we'll see how I feel about it by the end, I suppose. But in episode 18, it definitely felt more, again, kind of nostalgia baity, because I was like, all right, I don't know how I feel about this. But anyways, there are some good character moments in this episode. You know, it was cool to hear Negan say that naughty, naughty F word, although Daryl also says it in episode 18. So, you know, I'm kind of confused about the swearing rule now. I thought they used to not be able to say it, but now they say it every episode, seemingly. Okay, pointless tangent. Getting back to Negan, you know, it was cool seeing him work with Carol again. It just sucks that we know these two characters are safe, though, because of the spinoffs. And this is something worth mentioning, because it really ruins some excitement I have for the show currently. If the spinoffs weren't announced, and we knew nothing about the fates of characters like Negan, Carol, Daryl, and Maggie, these final episodes would be so much more interesting, but whatever is what it is, I guess. Getting back to Negan, though, again, yeah, he was great in this episode. He has such a fantastic scene with Sebastian, uh, the part where Sebastian says to Negan, Negan, do you know who I am? And uh, Negan's just responding with, uh, do you know who I am? That was absolutely awesome. Uh, they definitely seem to be going down a different route with Sebastian, I felt. And, well, we'll talk about that more later, but honestly, at one point, I almost thought he was going to get a weird redemption arc of some kind, to be honest. I don't know. Anyways, I also like Daryl mentioning Glenn to Maggie in this episode. Thought that was nice. There's some cool action sequences with him, especially at the beginning. And Lance Hornsby continues to be the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He's such a great villain. Uh, yeah, I really like him. Bear McCreary continues to deliver, uh, deliver on the score. You know, there was uh, a moment in this episode where Pamela Milton sees the Miltons are murderers graffiti. And the score in that scene was just so damn intense and epic. Honestly, Bear McCreary's score this season is some of his best work, surprisingly. He just seemed to go all out this season. He did some great stuff in episodes 16 and 9 as well. Uh, really good. One moment I really disliked about this episode, though, was the scene of one of the Commonwealth soldiers being ripped in half by walkers. And it was just goofy and almost seemed like a scene out of a zombie parody of some kind how were the walkers that strong to do that just didn't make sense and took me out of the viewing experience i know there's been similar instances with walkers but i don't know for some reason i noticed it way more this time especially because they just like ripped him entirely in half and he had armor on and there was only like i don't know six or seven walkers it just i don't know all in all though i thought this was an all right episode uh, but episode 18, titled A New Deal, was definitely better, in my opinion. So yeah, episode 18 kind of shocked me a little bit. Or should I say the ending shocked me? However, one thing I quickly want to mention before we get into that whole situation is Pamela Milton's interaction with Lance. You know, it definitely feels like Pamela Milton is starting to get more involved in the story, which I really like, because up until now, I really feel like she hasn't reached her full potential as a character. And to be honest, she almost seemed like a background character. Lance has been the you know central antagonist of the season so far. And yeah, I'm just excited to see more of Pamela, especially after, spoiler alert, her son, Sebastian, died. Yeah, man, I was just not expecting him to go out this early. Again, I could tell something was up with his character. It really felt like the writers were going down a different direction with his character, and Sebastian was sort of drifting away from his comic book counterpart. Though I was still genuinely surprised that he died, they really made it seem like he was going to get out alive, 
but that obviously didn't happen. And it was very satisfying to see him die, but now I do have to wonder where the story will go. You know, it's relatively apparent that the show will not adapt the Rick death from the comics, not only because Rick isn't in the show currently, um, but it's because in the comics, Sebastian is the one who kills Rick. And I was maybe thinking Sebastian would kill someone different, like Rosita or Aaron maybe, but it just didn't make sense for him to do that yet. So I, I kind of understand why they would kill him off instead. I don't know. It looks like next week we're going to see the variant walkers, which might be interesting and yeah, you know, I'm just super intrigued to see how they will end the show overall. At the end of the day, I liked these episodes for sure. I don't want you guys to think I hated them or anything, but my love for this show has definitely decreased over the years, and now I just have weird feelings toward it. But yeah, I'll probably do more of these reviews for the final six episodes, and then I do plan on doing a ranking of all the seasons once it ends, uh, because I did do a ranking a little while ago, However, I didn't have season 11 in that ranking, or season 10, I don't think. So now that the show will be over, uh, once I do that video, you guys can kind of see um, all my thoughts on the seasons uh, in full. But if any of that interests you, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.